root, the ruku or kuku, comes from the Ashoki plant tree. The tree is 5 to 10 feet in height and bears in drops of pot. In Trinidad, we have two types the red. This variety, the pot is red when young and green when mature. Green when mature. Then there is a green variety which we must change color and become mature. This natural reddish dye has been used by the Amerindian as a body paint long before the discovery of Columbus, 1492. In Trinidad today, the food is not highly sought after. Since its use is dwindling, the management of the plant is not, has not been very much attention. Right? Stews are now made of burning sugar and addition synthetic coloring and other quick fixes that make food easy to, to cook or to prepare. The natural redding of color of the uku is not forgotten by many, mostly the rural community, where it is considered a vital commodity. The uku has bringing, has coming directly from, from the from the tree. It is used to add color to the many tasty dishes, including pastel, fish stew, and the provisions. As you notice, Austin is actually feeling a little provision there. And then you have this other young boy that we normally call him Mo. Sometimes you know he's actually feeling the um the yam. Yeah, we get it together. right? And as we have um. Chachi on the cutting up the meat into pieces. And Darren actually feeling something in the back there, actually by the pipe. Right? So in a short while we are going on with the video. The intention today is to show you how Uku come, come around. Um, actually Uku has Right, so you're putting in salt into the uku, you just take out the seed, you're washing it. Austin is putting in some salt there and, and, and you're actually washing the material, the, the seed now. Okay, and you're noticing the, the, the um, pinkish sort of a flavor that is always present in the uku. This is supposed to be the, the, the second stage in preparation. We take out the seed, then we wash it, then we add salt. And then we are now, then the other step is to strain it, and after strain, strain what we do with it, put it in water. So we don't boil it, to the paste point. So now the, um, we are actually straining out the, the rough um, parts of the uku and the water is actually the water and the and the things looking like a paint you know but it's not really paint it's the real coloring of the uku itself is falling into bottle so this bottle product is the final product that you can actually use the uku and reach this water this water base this water type solution and this is what you will see we add into the to the um guti and the mango that we have there but that is that is a product that is going to be used in a quick period of time it is easy to make and it uses very very fast as you've seen. 
But what will happen if you want to preserve this? Now, uku plants is not going to last forever. So we have a more stabilized one that we are going to boil this after the same type of way. This is one preparation you are seeing here that is used in a temporary formation. And, and this is used all the time by a lot of the people. And people sometimes go in another way and they actually take out the water content of the food of the, 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 the um, oko and actually let the steam reach very in a drier state and it lasts for up to 10 years so this is one format that you have looked at that we are going tonight to address but we will also show you um we will also show you the, the the more permanent stage after the fire now one of the things that brought to my mind just now that first bought to me was that once salt is added into that product that you showed there, you don't spoil. Right? So you don't have to put it in a refrigerator, you don't have to put it anywhere else. You just keep it and it, and, and it is going to, to last. But it is in a very liquid form here. And the other form will show you it a little more blue and it's going to last longer. Wow. <laughs> Here it is that we are putting things in place here now to boil, to burn out some of the water from the oak. The mineral on our steel. Right, so we are going for the second type model. Now even though this now we are not going on the fire side and so on because there is no, there is no need to add any fragrance more than the oak. The oak has all the fragrance we could talk about. All we need to do is to dry it up a little bit so it can last a little longer in our um, time. Okay, here we have poured in the liquid into the um, into the pot, and we are about to boil it, right? So we are going to take out some of the water. Now, mind you, you can use this uku without boiling out this water. In. This uku could have been used before, just as we take it out of the of the seed and so on. But if after boiling, it will be a concentrated type form, right? And as Bim was saying. Just, just, uh, let, me, let me look at um, the concentration for me, right, right, that concentrated form that you are looking after, for you to be able to reach that level, you have to boil that uku to about two hours, you say, about two hours, and, but if you reach that level, approximately three gallons of water is going to give you that amount of uku that they is holding in his hand. But if you take that amount of oak or food that he's holding his hand, you might cook for about 10 years with that. Because just a little dust that is now going to actually redden your meat and actually make your wild meat taste so much better. Yeah. So you see he's showing you the dose, right? That, that match green. One match green, a little dust of it. Put your hand lower, but yeah, put that, that, right, that dust. That dust. That dust of it there will actually make a whole pot of food red, right? So it's a very concentrated if it is well processed. But however, the, the, the one in the pot that you are seeing, right? We are taking out some of the water, as you are noticing, right? And we are just making this for a short period of time. The one that Bim has in his hand is more prepared thing. It takes two, three hours to actually reach that level. So from now on, we will just show you how we are going to actually add this good, this um, this uku into the wild meat and give the taste that you know of wild meat. But you don't really, you, you don't really know it because you really never really sit down and if you taste it already, you taste uku wild meat, you're alright. But if you never taste it yet, it's time that you get over. as I said it's a faster operation it's more concentrated and there is no need to do any flavoring in this food yeah. Yeah. so we're going to cook the goofy here now and, and, and um, we have a ta we are putting a little bit of coconut oil there we are putting a little bit of coconut oil in the pot In the, in the paste form, in the um, concentrated now, in the coconut. 
run out of oil. That's what we're looking at in the pot. Now we're now going to get organized to bring in the agouti. So we have the agouti there. I found I'm going to be added to the seasoned agouti, as we say that is um, local seasoning. What type of seasoning you have there again? Bandania, Spanish thyme, and so there. Garlic. And some garlic. A little pimento and so on. And we turn it up into this cookie. Um, with the coconut water, local coconut water. And it's um, going to be fried in. That's all we're going to make. Let me clean it. Let me clean it. Short while, the cookie is going to give out some water and all that type of thing. And we're going to fry it down. And then after we just keep on adding a little water. And after we bring it into paste in a short while. Yeah, the, 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 the cover here, the cover is not tight fitted. As a result, it is allowing the goatee to actually cook steam inside there. The steam is hitting the cover, the cover is pulling back into the goatee and giving that type of taste. No foreign type of taste is coming in. It operates something similar to a pressure cooker and it helps to soften the goatee at a faster period of time. We are looking at here is that the meat is properly fried and we are just going to add a small amount of cocoa again because we feel that the meat is supposed to look a little reddish. Remember I told you in the early times that if you use too much of cocoa the meat could be a little bitter. So you have to be a little careful in your addition and by we have this booty there is a, a little oldish booty it take a little while you are looking at the spoon they coming down there they are nice. And you see the amount of oku is actually placed in the pot. Right? And it is added, the meat is already completely um, complete. fried. The meat is tasting properly almost now, it is almost cooked. But what is really happening is that the skin, which is the last part of the oku, to really get a little soft for, for a human uh, consumption. So right now we have now added the, the, the little thing and if you look on you will see that the, the color, you see the color, the color change, right, right, and as I was discussing in a little while while we were waiting, we are looking at the adding of the um, maguti, a question was asked, um, whether this uku, as we are adding the coconut water, you are seeing the coconut water, is added to the maguti, the question was asked is whether the, the uku, can be used for as a vegetarian dish and in other types of um, beside meat or is it only used in terms of meat? The fact is that it has been a uh, very um, very um, important in flavoring the, the, the meat food and, and any type of meat. However, it is also it can also flavor vegetarian dishes like fried potato. Any type of things that you want, if you even want to add this uku to rice, you can add it to, you add it to bodhi, you add it to same, any type of thing like that. You don't like just the rough coloring and you want to make it a little more, a little, um, looking a little more reddish and more appetizing, right? You can use it and it really have a soft type of taste. It is not like a rugged type coffee thing, um, like um, uh, uh, curry type. But you will get you will get this brownish, nice color, and it really makes any type of food a real um, a delicacy. So here you are. You see, we have now added more some a little more. And we are waiting on the thing to boil to, to, to finish cook. And the boys are waiting to have a, a, a meal with everything that we have prepared. This Thank you. 
Are you looking? No. That's all we're going to do. Let me go. 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 Let me go.